Hi people, this is Angel from PRDV once again and tonight I'm gonna present you guys a new game engine named Torque 3D. Now I downloaded this engine today, I was testing it and it's really quite simple to work. Uh, even somebody that doesn't know nothing about uh, programming languages or creating games can start creating their own game. Now it has a map editor that is really easy to use and all this, and the tools that you need like the terrain, the mesh tools, and material tools everything is on one menu only so you, you don't need to be uh, jumping around trying to get uh, the tools on the engine. Now uh, it has a nice, uh, nice graphics. Uh, I was testing the graphics on the, on the engine. Uh, I think I still need to work with a bit, a uh, little bit of the lightning and the shadows and things like that. Um, I read something that they want to support this on Android and the uh, Linux system, uh, systems, and that would be nice. Uh, if they do that, I will be cr trying to create. A uh, simple game only for Linux, uh, for Linux, and it's gonna be a first-person shooter game. Um, so from here, you can go to GarageGames.com, and you will see uh, the download link on the top. So from there, you can download the software, the engine for your computer. Um, let's take this out from the full screen. After you download the file, you will get uh, a zip file, uh, so you need to extract all the content that it has inside, and you will get all these folders and these files, so you can start working with your game. Now, let's try uh, to make a new project, and for that, after you have extracted the folders and all the files, open your project manager and from here you will get this little window from here just click on new project put a name for it I don't know let's put like my game one <coughs> uh, leave it full 5x uh, create just wait until it creates all the files for your for your game tick tock tick tock So the project has been created. You can find it in blah 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 whatever folder you have. Uh, uh, the engine. Now click on finish. From here, you can choose uh, from the list of your projects. Click on the project that you just made and click on open folder. From here, go to game uh, and click on the name of the project that you gave it's going to be an executable uh, executable file and it's going to be uh, it's going to have the same name that you gave to the project so it's my game one now open up the project you will have your torque 3d loading up there you go so we have it you from here you can click on play or let me see if I can go back. Yeah, I can go back. Or you can join a game. It has multiplayer, so you don't need to to set up a lot of things. It already comes with a lot of things set up on the game. You have the options, so you can work with the graphics. Uh, mesh. Let's put it on high, on high, on high. 16. Okay, high. If the quality doesn't have. There we go. We got okay. We got everything on. So just hit apply. Done. Let's click on host the game and click and go. You need to click the host if you're going to be working with the game. Now after the game has loaded up, we need to open the world editor. And for that, you need to press your F11 key. This is the function keys. <coughs> well, like I said, the engine is pretty good. Looks pretty nice and really easy to work. Even uh, a person that doesn't know how to create a game or how to work with 
any programming language could start creating something up. And it's, I'm just going to show you guys the basics, only the tools. It takes a little while to build up because it's creating everything, like every texture and everything that it has. Okay, so from here we have the game. From here you can walk around, you can shoot, you got launchers, you got mines. That's something else. I don't know what the hell this is. Looks like a spider or something. Let me check it out. Yeah, it looks like a spider. We got a handgun. It's like a sentry gun or something like that. It's weird. Okay. So, to go to the world editor, press your function key 11. So, right here we have our editor. So, from here, like I told you guys, this is our simple tools that you will be working depending of the editor that you have open on the top of your windows let's put this on speed 100 into lightning let's put full ray light now on the editor here you got every editor that you're going to be working with you got the object editor terrain editor terrain painter material editor sketch tool data block editor decal editor forest editor mesh road editor mission area editor particle editor river editor road and pass editor and shape editor from here you will be working everything that has to do with the terrain with your world with your map um let's try changing the ground and the sky so we can see at least uh, something different on it so from here let's choose uh, object editor on your right panel go to mission group open up that folder and from here you have the sky the sun the level info the player drop points the ground plane so from here let's choose the ground plane first and uh, and the specter choose on material click on the little circle that you have there now let's put this on 100 thumbnails so we can see everything we have and like we have uh, as so we have a uh, ground I'm gonna choose grass for it there we go so we have the ground already now let's choose the sky as you can see this is like really quick you can do everything really easy without doing that much now let's choose this one there we go we have the sky now let's test it out <laughs> just press F11 there we go the only thing uh, I don't like about this is that uh, the aiming of the first person shooter uh, it's not like really a first person shooter, it's like a third person shooter or something like that. I don't like it. I don't like that part, but I know they have to have something on the engine to work that out so you can see the aim sight of the gun or something. Now let's get back to the editor. Now, for something quick, if you want to add some terrain or trees, same thing, just go to the top of your window to editor and click on terrain editor he will ask you if you want to create a new terrain if you don't have one so just click yes let's put like 512 let's put here terrain not map one map one terrain I don't know any name you want uh, let's put a noise so we can have a couple of mountains here let's click on create new now from here we have a couple of mountains around and everything uh, if you are in first person shooter viewing on your world editor you can change your camera on the top of your window here and click on free camera so you can uh, start moving around on the map and we are supposed to be right here I think so uh, if you want to choose a third person shooter just change your camera over there from here you can see your character 
Now I'm gonna change this to free camera because I'm gonna add a couple of trees to the get to the map. Now for adding trees to the map, uh, oh, first of all, let me, uh, give me a second. Before adding the trees, from here the material, the textures that you have on your terrain, you can change them by going into the terrain painter. From here you can choose what uh, texture you're gonna give it click on apply there we go you can also change the size as you can see depends on how big is the the material that you have the resolution that it has so I'm gonna leave it like this this is only for a show off for you guys now let's add a couple of trees here and for that we need to go to the terrain uh, editor no my bad my bad see like I said the forest editor we need to go to the forest editor and he's gonna ask us if we want to create a new forest because we don't have one so I'm gonna put up the size for the brush and when you start a paint he's gonna ask you for the for the forest Let's create it. There we go. Now let's paint everything around. Generating materials. There we go. There we go. Looking better, huh? Yep, so let's click, let's change the camera to first person shooter. So play your camera. Let's hit the F11 so we can start seeing everything. So, as you can see here, we got nice trees, looking good trees. Let's start running. They look pretty neat. Uh, free and a game that is a uh, game engine that is so easy to work with I think it's pretty nice it's pretty good for the people that doesn't know how to create games uh, I'll be trying to create a game for you guys with this and I'll try to save the project and upload it to the internet so you guys can play with the project also uh, for now I'm just gonna be showing you guys the basics so this is one of the basics uh, this is torque 3D game engine you can find that on garagegames.com um, let me see if I have something else that I can show you guys here uh, well it's a couple of things that I can show you but I'm gonna create different tutorials so this is gonna be only the introduction this is gonna be like tutorial one this is tutorial one the basics only now uh, nothing I'm gonna try to create a second tutorial, so I'll be seeing you guys really soon. This is Angel from PRDB, like always. Hit the like button, write a comment, and if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. Bye.